checked Twitter after I saw a live stream from a British commentary leftist called Queeman, whose real name is Jeremy Williams. And at the time of recording this video, he has 2.93k subscribers. And he's been going after a Dragon Ball Z fan for grieving, who goes by the name D underscore Max underscore HS, who at the time of recording has 596 subscribers. Now, Queeman made a tweet about D underscore Max underscore HS. And he called him a pathetic gay man-child for crying for multiple minutes on a live stream because the cartoon artist, as Queeman puts it, died. And on that tweet, it mentions that his mom was caught cheerleading for him on Twitter, which I don't actually get what the problem was because isn't your parent supposed to be very supportive of you and what you do no matter what it is like i don't get why you're trying to pin this on d underscore max underscore hs for having a supportive parent who loves him very dearly and with that i'm going to show you the video of d underscore max underscore hs crying after reading the news that Akira Toriyama died. What? What? No. That's not real. Is that real? Ooh, I didn't know that. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. Um. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um. Wow. Sorry, chat. Sorry. I just, uh, I need a second. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. That's, uh... Ooh. Ugh. He is one of my favorite, um... Creators, like, artists of all time. And I know it's silly to be, uh... Crying over, uh... An anime guy, but... Um... Wow. R.I.P. I'm gonna miss that guy. And all of his silly, goofy ideas. Man, oh man. Oof. Whew. 
yeah, man, 2024 is a hard one. That's a that's a hard one. Now, while Jeremy decided to make that disingenuous, disgraceful tweet about a Dragon Ball Z fan taking the time to mourn the death of Akira Toriyama. Several fans on Dragon Ball Z Twitter rightfully called out Queen Man for not having empathy, for being a pathetic incel man-child, and possibly for not having any self-respect. Spectre 9799 game says that cartoon artists inspired millions upon millions of people through his work and stories entire countries even. Regardless of your opinion of D-Max is, show some respect to Akira Toriyama. Childlike behavior. Exactly, Queen Man. You could have done your due diligence to be more respectful in your tweet, but you chose to be rude by disrespecting the dead just because someone that you hate is a Dragon Ball Z fan and is showing his respect. Jessica Pizzle says, Queen Man stepped on the wrong toes this time. You don't mess with the DBC fans, lol. Exactly. He made a huge mistake for this. Badwick S says, LMAO, Queen Man got ratioed by Spectre 799 games. Based. Now on this next tweet that Queen Man made, didn't clarify who it actually was that he was referring to. I don't respect racists. Now this can, can only mean two things for Queen Man. He's either talking about Akira Toriyama or he's talking about D-Max. So here are some more tweets of calling Queen Man all those things. Then how can you respect yourself, young Q Man? Yeah, Jeremy, how can you respect yourself when you are going after someone who's paying respects to the dead? Oh, so you have no self-respect then. No wonder why you are going on this disastrous tangent. Anyone that's going after someone for paying respects to someone that they admire since they were little is going on a disastrous tangent. Don't need your respect. Even your life is worthless compared to a stray dog. Ooh, what a burn. This Twitter user named James tweets out to Queeman with a gif saying you're worthless. And Black Cobra tweets out to Queeman with a picture saying you're retarded. I don't mean it theoretically, metaphorically, rhetorically, or any other way. You're retarded, straight up. And I agree with both of those statements that he's a worthless human being and he's retarded. For going after somebody for crying over their favorite admirer. This Twitter user says, I don't respect homophobic bigots. Based. Listen to this guy, kids. Don't respect homophobic people. This Twitter user says, I wish you nothing but the worst, you pathetic little cockroach. Koi man is just getting roasted at this point. Fire Poppy Chulo says, and people say bait posting is dead. So true. Now this tweet, I'm about to show you has this interesting play on words. Instead of Queeman, it is. Well, let me read it to you. LMAO Sweeman, Cope Harder, sir. Now, another Twitter user calls Queeman out, not 
respecting one of the greatest illustrators of our lifetimes. And your mother should have swallowed. How dare you not respect literally one of the greatest illustrators in our lifetimes? Someone whose work has inspired countless others. So from all of us to you, go fuck yourself. Yeah, Queen Man. Why do you not respect Akira Toriyama? Zeron Jonasa says that you're er, retarded. Toriyama Sensei re really paved the way for the future of Eastern centric culture and pop culture. And then he goes on to say to him, Wrong, you're more racist. You can't even respect people who are different. Go fuck yourself, you lousy L O S E R. Get a life. You don't have any respect for anyone, you meaningless F A G. Now, here are some Twitter users who think that it's okay to cry, just as long as it's not public. Sneed says, it's, become, it's unbecoming to weep in public over a Japanese cartoon maker. Pointing this out has nothing to do with respect. Of course, we respect great men who die. Just don't be a wimp in public without good cause should be reserved for if your son gets cancer or if your best friend dies. Okay, this comment is extremely obtuse. Being an emotional crier is not being a wimp. It's not unbecoming to weep in public. Like, yes, it's okay to cry if your family member gets cancer or if your best friend dies, but you shouldn't reserve your tears for that. D-Max is crying for a good reason. It's because Akira Toriyama, his favorite admirer, has paved the way for generations of other children who have watched or read his Dragon Ball Z franchises. And if you don't fucking understand how much of an impact Akira Toriyama has made to millions of readers and viewers of the Dragon Ball Z franchise all around the world and clearly don't get to speak on this. Millions of people looked up to Akira Toriyama. Most of them today are in the animation industry because of Akira Toriyama. He is the reason why so many of us get to see Naruto and One Piece and bunch of other anime shows, like Hunter x Hunter. Not only that, but if you watch every season of every ever Dragon Ball Z franchise, you'll notice the power of friendship. A lot. And helping others, which is what made Dragon Ball Z so great as a comic and a TV show. As a matter of fact, Dragon Ball Z is so popular that it, there is a video game called Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. It's one of the most popular video games in all of the United States and around the world. In fact, so popular that there's even a petition to at least remaster the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi series. And despite the fact that it had almost 25,000 signatures, there is a video game in the works that is expected to be released in 2024. But then, according to a Instagram account, the, the video game series has been remained. So lots of fans would be very, very excited, as is probably going to be the last game ever because Akira Toriyama passed away. Now, a Twitter user who goes by the name Full of Pestilence says this. So you basically are saying bottle it up and that's how you end up crashing out later in life and beating your wife. Yeah, holding your, your emotions is not a good idea. But this guy doesn't care. Sneed comes out with a snarky example. I will not, I will physically assault women if I am not allowed to cry over anime. First off, that's not what he's actually saying. What he's actually saying here is this. He's saying that if you don't show any emotion at all, including crying, 
then your mind wouldn't be healthy and you're gonna have anger issues. That's what he's saying here. Echo says to Queeman, yo, what the fuck, bro? You know, it's normal for people to mourn when someone they admire and respect passes, right? Queeman actually sucks. Agreed. Jose says, you're so pathetic for making fun of people mourning the loss of a legend, but I guess you're entitled to your opinion. Not gonna lie, that is a good point. People are entitled to their opinion, but they're not entitled to disrespect the dead like that. But Jose is right that you're mocking somebody for mourning the death of a legend. Gunther says that the legendary creator of Dragon Z to you. Yeah, Kui Kui, say right. Marcus says in his tweet that pathetic loser Kui Man thinks grown men crying over the death of someone who's most likely extremely inspirational to him and also made the manga and anime that he most likely grew up watching is a loser. Yeah bud, you really got him. Good one. Exactly. Because if you think you are a loser for crying about your favorite admirer that you looked up to for years, then you're just as much as a loser mocking somebody for grieving. The real outer god says that I have been accused of not having empathy. It's not true. This queeman, however, does not have empathy. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion when something or someone has been lost. Akira Toriyama's artistic influence is a great loss to the world. Hmm. Maybe that's why Queen has a hatred for historic anime creators. Totally not retro, says this in a newsman voice. Pathetic insult man Queen has been caught kissing his cousin. Once again. Even after authorities have reminded him that incest is still illegal. More at 7. Another Twitter user pointed out something very interesting here. Andy says the only man child is the person tweeting this. Projection much, babes? To be fair, Queen Man is projecting. Uh, another Twitter user says, Shut up, F A G G O T. Nice. Tanner Sweet says you think you're funny and cool with this, but just wrecking any possibility of being res respected in any space. That reminds me, if you're a leftist like Queen Man, and you think, ooh, funny, ha ha, because you're mocking somebody or mourning the death of their favorite anime illustrator. Then you're not the type of good person that you were raised by your mom and dad who taught you to be respectful of others, no matter what they're going through. When they lost someone that they love or admired, you have to be respectful and well-behaved. And some people, of course, are making death threats towards Queen Man, which I don't condone, by the way, under any circumstances. But a Twitter user who goes by the name Toyota Corolla says, Don't ever step foot in Mexico. It's on site. And I'm not talking about the guy in the video. Not a wait who says, I totally agree with that. We are not kind to people who that mocks Toriyama. Yeah, this goes for all the non-anime fans out there. Be kind to the people who have the right to grieve about a sudden loss in the Dragon Ball Z community. This tour user says that what a loser, and I don't mean the guy on video. Yikes. Somebody just got owned. You had us going in the first half, not going live, lol. It's gonna. But I digress. The Failed King says, I'm trying to wrap my head around how pathetic you have to be to mock someone for mourning the loss of someone many people looked up to. As if that wasn't enough. You're starting a witch hunt against him because... To be completely 1000% honest, 
I love to know that too. I bully bully says to Queeman, dude, you are sick in the head. I agree with that 1000%. Hope the cartel gets Queeman. Hmm, maybe. I won't hold my breath though. Toxic Fip Love says, you're such a fucking loser. LMAO. Got him. You better watch out, ladies and gentlemen. Queeman is coming to his weekly nights. You're an adult who watches cartoons, depending an even older adult who cries over cartoons. <laughs> so? Who cares? Get a life, Kui Kui. There are adults like me who still watches cartoons and anime. Haven't you heard of Adult Swim? And please don't you ever fucking say that cartoons or anime are for children. They are not. Now I'm gonna read some parts of the Medium blog titled Six Reasons That You Should Watch Cartoons and Anime As An Adult. Whenever someone looks at a certain cartoon or anime, they may think that it is only for children, which is completely false. Animation is an art form that conveys stories and creates ideas in various ways for any age group. Obviously, you may remember being stirred up to Saturday morning cartoons, watching a new episode of Pokemon or Sailor Moon on Cartoon Network, or reviewing your most loved animated movie from Disney or Pixar when you were a child. However, it doesn't mean you have to give up on the medium as soon as you reach adulthood. Cartoons and anime can bring many benefits to your life once you revisit them as an adult. Here are five reasons that you should ignore what society tells you to watch and embrace your inner child by revisiting your childhood memories. We all know the struggles of being an adult. Common adult life issues like work or financial problems can cause stress and anxiety. Perhaps you're looking for a great way to take a break from reality and relax. Look no further than watching cartoons and anime. Take a mind of reality and, and explore the magical worlds of Studio Ghibli films such as my Neighbor Told Torio, Kiki's Delivery Service, Spirited Away, and Howl's Moving Castle. If a good chuckle is what you're after, watch an episode of Bob's Burger, Rick and Morty. Cartoons and anime are the perfect stress relievers whenever you need a sense of joy in your life. You won't believe how many cartoons and anime explore complex themes. You may ever find these themes relate to you on a personal level. For example, the popular adult cartoon on Netflix, Bojack Horseman, dives deep into mental health, addiction, sexuality, and trauma better than most current live-action shows. There are also family-friendly shows like Avatar The Last Airbender that explore imperialism, trauma, prejudice, women empowerment, and genocide. There is no need to be embarrassed that you are an adult who watches cartoons and anime. You are an alo. You will be amazed to discover how cartoons and anime can help you create closer social ties. For example, you can introduce a classic anime movie or cartoon that you adore as a kid to your own kids. Do you get it now, Queeman? That's why every Dragon Ball Z reader and viewer is an adult, and for you to make this tweet and shame someone on the internet or anyone else for that matter is deplorable at best. People like you who are that uncultured to shame someone for crying need to take a reality check. 
How would you like it if someone crashed into your family member's funeral or your friend's funeral because that person didn't like you grief in peace? I certainly wouldn't like that, and neither would you. Besides, crying over a Kira Toriyama isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Human beings cry all the time. That is what we're made for. That's why we have something called emotions. And not having any emotion, including crying, ain't a good thing to hide it from the public. The emotion that you shouldn't look up to anyone that you shouldn't idolize is crazy. Your lack of emotions and lack of understanding isn't that surprising, because you do need to work on that. Some of the people who agree to live Queeman for simply implying that they shouldn't idolize their family members as their biggest inspiration to be a basketball player, soccer player, football player, baseball player, player or race car driver because they think that idolizing someone online is a parasocial relationship are very much wrong. When it comes to liking someone that you, yourself, aspire to be one day, does it mean that you, you have a parasocial relationship? No, you don't have a severe parasocial relationship to idolize someone who deeply impacted your life in a way that felt wholesome for you when you were a child. Being a fan or a supporter of a famous person isn't a parasocial relationship, it's being an influence. Akira Toriyama influenced people like D underscore Max underscore HS simply because D underscore Max underscore HS probably either reads every single Dragon Ball manga or watches every single Dragon Ball animation series. So it isn't weird to love something that someone created for all ages. At the end of the day, regardless of whatever your problem with D underscore Max underscore HS is, it's one thing to call out someone on the internet for doing something wrong, but it's another thing to make fun of the dead and disrespect their fans who are grieving online. You shouldn't have to make this disingenuous, disrespectful tweet of your hatred with some creator online just because somebody passed away. You could instead only call him out for allegedly defending Mama Max or allegedly being associated with Mama Max if that was somewhat the case. But just don't be a douchebag bastard towards a man for crying. Because men can cry. And no man should be shamed on the internet for that. Let a longtime fan grieve online and pay his respects.